What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and um, you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for uh, future readings. This is a free general oracle card reading for mid April of 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Snow, Moon, Hand, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Snow, Moon, Hand, or Jupiter. Um, it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Ooh. All right, I heard three, I had four. I usually only take two. We have lizard spirit, beaver spirit, vulture spirit. So you have um, double fire sign energy and earth sign energy. Get some. Hope everybody is doing well. Oh, I got two channel messages in as I was meditating on your oracle card reading. For mid April of 2022. And don't forget, um, there's millions of millions of people in the world and ton of Aquariuses. So for some of you guys, it could start resonating now, possibly for some mid April, for some past April. Um, just to let everybody know, you you know, one message may resonate for you, two plus may, none may resonate. So you have to plug it into your own personal situation, however it resonates, if it does resonate for you, okay. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel, by the way, we're at 12,135 subscribers, I think right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do. -hoo. Um, so the channel messages I received was the first one I heard turning over a new leaf and the second one I heard about to go hard. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates, if it resonates for you, Aquarius. One of you guys is turning over a new leaf, um, or it could be you or somebody you're connected to. I just heard turning over a new leaf. So it could be you turning over a new leaf or somebody you're connected to. Now, turning over a new leaf is a saying like making, it could be like making changes in your life or somebody you're connected to making changes in their life, or maybe... Um, I feel for some, maybe you're on the dark side in the past or somebody you connect, you're connected to was. Maybe you're coming to the light side or somebody you're connected to is. Uh, somehow turning over a new leaf, so making some kind of changes in one's life. Um, like better, ha it could be better habits, um, learning a new skill, going from dark side to light side um it could be you or somebody you're connected to you have to plug it in your own life an own personal situation how it resonates it does resonate and then going hard so it could be you going hard on person people place family or situation or somebody you're connected to however that resonates in one's life aquarius spirit messages you have sign of aquarius Good Lord. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aquarius. And if you, um, I encourage everybody to check out their placements, other placement sign placements readings, if you want to do so. Um, Whatever your other sun, you know, sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts placements are. Number 38, 6 or uh, 63 can be very significant numbers in one's life. Also 3 and 39. 38, 6, 63, 3 or 39. These could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 38, 6, 63, 3, 39. We have lizard spirit, dream the world into being, beaver spirit, lay a, sound, lay a solid foundation, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted, grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling, butterfly, a change for the better, aspen spirit, courage, stag spirit, leadership. And like I said previously, you could possibly be dealing with the 
fire sign, an earth sign, or a well, double fire sign, double fire sign, or earth sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, since you have double fire sign energy, you could be dealing with more than one fire sign, possibly. Um, uh, maybe two or two plus Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your life, an energetic space, possibly. Um, and Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, possibly. You only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. If it does resonate, lizard spirit, dream the world into being. A particular Aquarius is about to get a huge, huge, huge per perspective change. Huge. It's about to be very effective. Some in their professional, some in their personal life. Very life-changing perspective. It's about to really help this Aquarius. So many changes have already occurred and more are going to occur. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so perspective change. Um, whoever you are, if this resonates or applies for you, you've got it. You've gotten so like for some you've already gotten the huge perspective change some you're about to some it's in your personal life some it's in your professional life some it could be both but it sounds like this um huge perspective change it sounds like you're about to acquire this huge perspective change aquarius if this resonates for you now i mean if this could apply to your personal life your prof professional life or both but some kind of huge perspective change that you're about to gain on person people place family or situation however it applies in your life um but I heard it's going to benefit you greatly. It's going to benefit you greatly. And um, it's it sounds like this huge perspective change is going to benefit you very. It's got, I heard it's going to benefit you greatly, but I think it's going to make you look at things in a different perspective from the way you did in the past, which is going to benefit you. And it might benefit others, too. Um, and we had the change for a better, too. So I think that goes with this in this particular message. Um, which is which is good i mean it's always good to look at things from different perspectives well it's good to look at things from different perspectives when they need when they should be looked at from different perspectives or they need to be so kind of like stepping back and just stepping back and just reflecting um taking a chill back and just being still for a minute and just assessing you know besides in 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 you know what i'm saying i'm just kind of like it's kind of like hermit mode in my opinion it's kind of like hermit like a step back hermit mode just and just kind of looking you know observing or reflecting how that resonates um dream the world into being i think this might be maybe you want to make the world a better place for some of you i didn't hear you did but maybe maybe for some you're activist or you want to be activist or you just want to make the situation a better situation for you or somebody you're connected to um how that resonates um i heard turning over a new leaf so i think one of you guys is turning over a new leaf in a positive direction um which could be the change for the better and wanting to make your life better or somebody you're connected to's life better maybe this perspective change is going to help you do it possibly for some beaver spirit lay a solid foundation a particular aquarius Is about to be very, very, very honest about a situation of the past. Some official paperwork to the right person. Mailed paperwork. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, whoever you are, Aquarius, you're about to be very honest about a particular situation of the past. Heard official mailed paperwork. So lay a solid foundation would be um you're about to be honest with somebody of your past about it. it sounds like a very serious situation of the past 
sounds like you're about to do it through some kind of official mail paperwork in some shape, form, or fashion. So maybe you're laying a solid foundation about this very serious situation of the past, and um, you're about to be honest with maybe one person or two plus people, but it sounds like you're about to do it through some kind of official paperwork through the mail. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular community was embarrassed, highly embarrassed in the past by someone falsely being in a witness protection program. The person that was falsely in the witness protection program, many negative series of chain events are about to occur for them, a lawsuit, and they will go to jail, prison down the line. Huge fraud and thief. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I think one of you guys is high level. I'm serious. Like high, high, high level. I didn't hear what kind of high level you are. I wonder if you work for like the feds or something. Possibly. Or, or just high level in your society or community. I'm serious. Um, but somehow one of you guys was connected to somebody that was in the witness protection program falsely in the past. So whether you helped put them there or they conned you or manipulated you to put them there, I'm not sure, but somehow you were connected to somebody that was in the witness protection program in the past and they shouldn't have been. And basically it ended up mortifying a community and highly embarrassing a community by putting this person in witness protection program in the past and they shouldn't have been. I heard they're a fraud and a thief and basically ne many negative series of chain events are about to occur for this person, this fraud or thief or victim conscious kind of person that was in a witness protection program that should have been um whoever this person is and how they apply in their life and negative series of chain events are about to occur for them so it sounds like maybe you are about to help balance out the situation it sounds like maybe you were manipulated by this person in the past is what i'm feeling aquarius I, that's what i'm feeling for some i, I feel you are highly manipulated by them but I, it looks like you're seeing clearly now and that could be the situation and balance that requires careful handling as well. Um, it sounds, it sounds, I heard jail and then prison. So, I mean, however this is going to be handled to put them in jail and then prison, are there a fraud or and a thief? I mean, those are huge, serious crimes. So I, I can't imagine how in the world they wouldn't go to jail and prison over some. And they were in the witness protection program and they shouldn't have been. I mean, that's serious. That's so serious. However that resonates and applies Aquarius, however you plug into this person. Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Thrifty attitude for some. Some a new channel on YouTube. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Some of you guys um, thrifty or thrifty. So you're either about to become thrifty or you are already thrifty. How that resonates. Now, anybody doesn't know thrifty is basically making a, something out of nothing or being very, very, very frugal and good with your money. Um, like thrift shops or couponing or something of that nature really holding on financially and making the best of what you have financially. Um, whether it's $2, $20, or $200, making the best of that, basically. Um, through couponing or thrift shops or what have you. I think one of you guys is really into couponing or thrift shops or something like that. I heard thrifty. Or you're about to be. How that resonates. Um, and um, one of you guys is about to start a new channel, I heard. Now, that could be on um, YouTube or that could be another public platform that incorporates channels. How that resonates in one's life, Aquarius. So nothing is wasted in that aspect. I'm feeling you're about to use your talents and skills on some public platform that incorporates channels for the new channel. For some, I feel you already have a channel somewhere because I heard new channel. Um, that could be a new new channel or another channel. 
and then thrifty. Um, so, you know, you could have five mil, five, five mil uh, network. You could have like a five mil network and still be thrifty. I mean, if I was worth five mil, I would still be thrifty. And that's just the truth. Um, somehow, you know, sometimes that's just ingrained in people. You plug it in how it resonates. Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling. A particular Aquarius is about to get into a huge conflict with the maid. A huge conflict. It's not getting better, it's getting worse. Oh. So you plug it in how it resonates, whoever you are, Aquarius. Um, you either have a maid or somebody you're connected to has a maid. Somebody's got a maid in this situation. Um, you're, I heard you're about to get into a conflict with this maid. Um, whether it's your maid or somebody you're connected to's maid. I heard it's not getting better, it's getting worse. Um, so I'm thinking the services this maid provides, it can be masculine or fem maid. Usually maids are feminine, butlers are masculine, but you plug it in how it resonates. It sound, whatever services this maid is providing, it sounds like it's getting worse and not better. For some, it could be theft. And I didn't hear it was theft, but I've known people in the past that, um, I've heard stories is what I'm saying, of people that go into people's homes as maids and they end up stealing. So I hope it's not theft. I didn't hear it was, but something is getting worse and not better. I'll tell you that. So that could be the situation with the maid in this aspect. Um, how this resonates. A teenage child is about to shock you in a very positive way. Okay, I heard a teenage child is about to shock you in a very positive way. So, well, that's good. So, you plug it in how it resonates. So, a teenage child is about to shock you in a very positive way. If this resonates for you, Aquarius, it could be your teen teenage child or somebody you're connected to's teenage child, but they're about to shock you in a very positive way. So, I think maybe you had a rocky foundation with this teenager in the past because we have situation in the balance that requires careful handling i think you might have had a rocky relationship with this teenager in some shape form or fashion in the past but they're about to shock you in a positive way which may give you the um perspective change over here um and change for the better possibly is what i'm feeling for some heard they're about to shock you in a positive way um which I think that might be, maybe they're turning over a new leaf. And maybe it's causing you to turn over a new leaf. I mean, positivity is contagious, just like negativity is, for anybody who doesn't know. Positivity is contagious, just like negativity is. In this aspect, it's positive between you and this teenager. I don't think in the past it was. But something, it sounds like some kind of shocking series of chain of events or some kind of shocking interaction. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. You're about to have with this teenager. It's about to, I think, change your perspective on this teenager or a situation or make you just reflect back and look at things differently with the perspective change possibly. So I think maybe in the past you had a rocky relationship with this teenager, but it sounds like it's about to start balancing out. Um, or you're about to see things from a different perspective, which is going to cause the change for the better, the perspective change and this positive interaction between this teenager. However, this applies in one's life. A change for the better. By the way, it could be a masculine or feminine teenager. I just heard teenager. It could be a masculine or feminine teenager. Teenagers are usually 13 years old to um eight, well 17 if they're a minor 13 to 17 if they're a minor um and then you know 18 19 if they're adults but um i'm feeling it's probably a minor energy so 13 to 17 is what i'm thinking here
Discounts to Taekwondo. Whoa, that's what I just heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, that's that's great. <laughs> maybe I that's all I heard. Discounts to Taekwondo. So maybe however that plugs in for one's life, that's definitely a change for the better. Some kind of discounts to some kind of Taekwondo. Maybe you're a Taekwondo instructor and you're going to give someone discounts, um, like coupons or something to your Taekwondo um, lessons or classes or something of that nature. Or you are going to help someone get discounts or coupons to some kind of Taekwondo class or classes if you're not the Taekwondo instructor, business owner, etc., etc. How about that plugs in? Discounts to Taekwondo is what I heard. Which everybody can use some thriftiness in their life. We have thriftiness in here and discounts to Taekwondo. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And Taekwondo is beautiful for people that want to participate in that. Um, I'm feeling you're either going to offer somebody discounts to Taekwondo, either through coupons or coupon code or something like that, if you're able to do so, um, or somebody's going to offer them to you because energies can be reversed. We have discounts to Taekwondo in here. So however that plugs in one's life, that could be the change for the better. Maybe it's for this teenager. You're going to offer these discounts to the Taekwondo, possibly for some of you guys. For some, it could be, um, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling for some, you might offer it, this teenager, this is the, um, the teenager or the parent of the teenager or parents of the, of the teenager, some kind of discounts to Taekwondo classes. Maybe you're an instructor to this Taekwondo place or you frequent this Taekwondo place and you have coupon codes or coupons. Um, however that resonates, but it's going to create a change for the better. If, if you are the one about to offer the coupon codes or the discounts or coupons or whatever to this teenager, I think it's going to create a change for the better for this teenager. Maybe a change for the better for you too, because you know that you're helping out this teenager, their parents, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, putting positive into the universe. Possibly. Um, and that could be the nothing is wasted too. Helping this teenager, maybe you know this teenager really loves Taekwondo um, and you're going to help them out um, by helping the parents financially, possibly. How this resonates. Wow, man. That's, that was interesting, but cool. Okay. A particular Aquarius is about, to, a masculine Aquarius is about to invite a feminine energy on a trip with them soon. A very fun trip. Trying to figure out how to do this. Really wants her to come. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Masculine Aquarius. We have a masculine Aquarius dealing with the fem energy. I feel these are two adult people. These are not minors. I don't feel these are two adult, very adult people. Um, you, masculine Aquarius, you want to invite a feminine energy on some kind of trip. Now, you know, it could be a day trip. It could be a weekend trip. It could be a week trip. Only you know your story and anybody else. But it sounds like it's outside of where you reside. Um, it sounds like it, there will be some traveling there. So, you know, it might be a two hour trip. It might be a six hour trip, a four hour trip. It might be a flight for all we know. Um, but you really want her to come. You really want her to come, but you're trying to figure out how to go about asking her to come basically is what I'm gathering from this. Um, you haven't obviously got there yet to ask her to come, um, at all. You're trying to figure out how to do it. Um, I think that could be the lay a solid foundation as well. You want to lay a positive, solid foundation with her. Um, you want her to see you in a positive light. You want her to see you favorably. You want to make sure you go about this in the correct fashion and manner to manifest her positively in your life is what I'm feeling here. And that could be the situation that's in the balance too. careful balance because you want to make sure you go about it in a positive fashion copacetic way you don't want to scare her off offend her uh, if she's an offend you know if she gets offended kind of person i mean i don't know 
everybody's different. You have to plug this feminine energy in how she resonates. She might get easily offended. She might not. Um, only you know her, not anybody else. But regardless of any of that, you're trying to figure out how to ask her. You haven't asked her yet. So um, you want to lay a solid foundation with her, but I feel the situations in like careful handling, careful handling right now because you have not figured out how to ask her yet. Basically, um, I think you want to go about it in a very positive way, but you don't want to come across in a negative way, which that's anybody. Um, that's anybody. So, I mean, however she applies and, you know, everybody's different. So however you go about doing that, you go with your bad self, masculine Aquarius, but I feel you're high vibrational or you're getting high vibrational, whoever you are in that situation. You're thinking of the other person's feelings and you're thinking of really trying to figure out how to go about it without creating negative towers here is what I'm feeling. Um, I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It shows you really care about this situation, or at least I hope so. You're not, not just not trying to get some nookie. I hope not. I hope you're past that part of in your life, whoever you are. But I, I don't, I don't feel that is what I'm saying. I don't feel that. I feel mature energy here, but I feel you, um, I feel mature energy, but I feel you're trying to figure out the best way to do this is what I'm feeling just straight up. And that could create a change for the better um, if she, if you put it out there in a positive, copacetic manner and she agrees and y'all go on this trip and it's fun and positive and et cetera, et cetera. Um, I didn't hear specifically, specifically what kind of trip it is, but it looks like it'll create a change for the better. Okay, let's see if we hear anything else. Through many shocking positive series of chain events, a position of high authority, feminine, Aquarius, is about to get a huge perspective change too. On a very serious case of the past. Older Aquarius. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So older femme Aquarius energy through many positive series of chain, shocking, say, ch I can't speak, through many positive shocking series of chain events, older femme Aquarius energy, whoever you are and however, however you apply. I heard basically you're about to get a huge perspective change on a very serious case of the past, um, ser serious case of the past. So um, it sounds like it's already happened in the universe, um, some kind of serious case of the past. So it sounds like this case might have already, it sounds like it's already completed. It sounds like it's already completed is what I'm feeling here. I heard serious case of the past. So I think it's already completed, already wrapped up, but you're getting a huge perspective change on this case that's already wrapped up in some shape, form or fashion. Such a huge wake up call. You're about to send huge communication, new information. Cause it to be reopened. Oh man, wow. Okay, so it already has been closed. Okay, so such such a huge wake up call here, older femme Aquarius. You're about to send communication to somebody, um, and it's about to cause it to be reopened. So it has already closed. It. Um, I was wondering. I was feeling it had, but it's. It sound, I heard it was closed. It's already closed. But somehow if you were connected to this case or you know about this case, it's already closed, a very serious case of the, of the past. But you're, I heard you're about to send new, you're about to receive new information. I think you're about to relay the information to somebody else, which is going to cause it to reopen. Um, whatever this very serious case is and however it applies in your life, for some it could be that witness protection, false witness protection program person um, for some. For some, it could be something else. And that could be the change for the better too, reopening it um, to actually resolve it in a positive copacetic manner this time. 
somehow this very serious case of the past, I don't think it was properly resolved or something went left with it or something. Um, but you're about to receive new information um, and it sounds like you're about to relate the new, new information. However, that plugs in one's life, Aquarius. Your older feminine Aquarius, if that resonates for you. Okay. Courage. Someone's Tesla is about to die. Just die. Stop working. About to take a huge money loss here, not under warranty anymore. Oh, Lord. Okay. So you plug in how it resonates. I don't know the warranty terms for Teslas. I've always been interested in a Tesla, but I've never had the money to get one. Um, so I don't know the warranties. Like, I have a Kia and it's 10, 10 year or 100,000 mile powertrain and limited warranty on body, not maintenance things like tires or um battery or things like that so i don't what i'm saying is i don't know the warranty aspects of a tesla i because i've never owned one um i've always wanted to but i've, I've never have but somebody's warranties already expired on their tesla whoever this is whether it's you or somebody you're connected to you own a tesla it sounds like or somebody you're connected to owns a tesla um i heard it's just about to die. it's just gonna die it's just gonna die um so i'm i I wonder if that's battery. I mean, they're, aren't they electric powered? I wonder if that's just the battery. Um, but I heard it's not under warranty anymore. So, come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Well, that's confirmation from my fat boy. Come on. What is your deal, Bill? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on, SVP. Come on. Um, so, how did that plugs in one's life? Sorry. Fat boy. I, I yeah, I know. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Come on. Sorry, y'all. I'm doing the reading. Come on. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, so um that's confirmation from Fat Boy. Um Fat Boy Kitty, just saying. Um it's about to die, but it's, um, Tesla's I think are primarily electric. Um, so I don't know if it's a serious dying or just the battery needs to be char charged or replaced or what have you. I don't know. Somehow this Tesla's going to just kaput, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to is Tesla and it's not under warranty anymore. Now, like I said, I don't know the warranty, um, aspects on the Tesla because I don't own one. So whoever you are that owns this Tesla or somebody you're connected to that owns this Tesla, but you're about to have a lot of courage and bravery, I think, to get your car fixed or somebody you're connected to that owns the Tesla's car fixed. Um, however, this resonates and applies in one's life. Someone that owns a Tesla is about to get robbed. And it's someone you know. 45 and below Aquarius Feminine. Oh, my Lord. Confirmation again from Fat Boy. Okay, so, and that's specific. 45 and below Aquarius Femme that owns a Tesla, I'm presuming. Whoever you are, 45 and below Aquarius Femme that owns a Tesla. Um, that's very specific. I heard you're about to get robbed. Um, I don't know if it's something on your Tesla that's about to get robbed or somebody's about to break into your Tesla and rob something out of your Tesla or they're about to steal something off of it. I don't know, but somehow the Tesla is involved with this rob robbery. So it might be items you've had in your Tesla or it might be something off the Tesla. I don't know, um, but it's somebody you know. How would this resonates? 45 or below Aquarius Feminine Energy. You're about to have courage, I think, to report this person to the police or uh, try to get security camera footage if it's in a public space. 
um, or your own security footage, if it's at your home and you have security footage, to um, find out who the crap this person is that's um, creeping in your Tesla, um, whoever this is. You're 45 or below in your Aquarius fan that owns a Tesla. Um, An Aquarius feminine that works in media is about to get a very negative shock of her life. She's about to be replaced in her job field with a much younger person. Much, much younger person. You will not lose your job, but they will put you in a position you do not want to be in. You will probably quit. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So um, you're an Aquarius fan if this resonates for you. I didn't hear age range on you. But I heard you're about to lose your job to somebody much younger. Much younger. Um, and um, whoever this person is, it sounds like a femme energy. Or it might be masculine. Somebody much younger, whether it's masculine or feminine. I heard it's going to piss you off. It's going to piss you off. I heard you're not going to lose your job. But you're, you're, they're going to put you in a job that basically you're not going to like. You're not going to like, you're not going to want to be there. And it's going to want you, it's going to, you're going to want to quit basically. And I think it's going to piss you off that this person's about to get your job filled, your job, I mean, your job title, the job that it sounds like you're in now that you really like, you're about to get replaced with this other person. They're not, they're playing it smart. They're not going to just wrongfully terminate you. They're switching your job positions. And it sounds like still in your company, but it's in a position you're not going to want to be in. But I think they know this. Um, I heard it's going to cause you to want to quit. Of course, if you quit, that's your free will. But you plug it in how it resonates. But I think you're about to have a lot of courage because you're about to see this much younger person heard than you. So a much younger person than you basically gets the job that you've been. For some, you could have been doing this job for years. For some, one year. For some, six months. I didn't hear a time frame, but. You really, it sounds like you really love this job, but somebody's about, they're about to replace you with somebody else, basically. And I think you're about to have a lot of courage to realize it's about to happen uh, when it does happen. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. And that could be the situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Um, hopefully you don't go cray cray on the younger person that's about to get the job that it sounds like you currently have now. Stag spirit leadership. A particular Aquarius masculine position high authority is about to really, really take the reins in a very positive way. About to really go full force. In a particular situation soon. In a positive way. It's about to be very, very helpful. In many aspects. Winning. Wow, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, Aquarius masculine energy. You could have Aquarius in your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Feminine, Behavior, Jupiter charts. Your position, high authority. So you already have leadership in your life, in your um, world, in some shape, form, or fashion. I'm feeling like position, high authority energy here. Whether you're a business owner, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you are a leader. Your leadership, you are a leadership role, and wherever you are in your world. I didn't hear specifically what it was, so you have to plug in your life how it resonates. But I heard you're about to take the reins in a very positive way. So maybe you didn't take the reins in the positive way, or you were maybe kind of holding off on a situation. But it sounds like you're about to take it, and you're about to take it, and you're about to take it positively, and you're about to roll with it. Whatever this is and how it applies in your life, I heard it's going to work out very positively for you and the people connected to this. So Whatever this is and however it applies in your life, it's going to, sounds like it's going to work out positively for you and the people connected in it. I heard winning. So it sounds like you're going to win in this. Um, I don't know if this is a, 
I don't feel this is like a competition kind of, it could be a competition kind of thing for some of you guys, but if it is, I don't feel it's like you're like beating somebody to a bloody damn pole. I feel you, if it is a competition kind of thing, I feel you're going to win it in a positive way. I don't feel you're going to go beat somebody down, you know, like uh, playground style or some crap. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to do it the right way, whoever this is for. Um, and you're going to take the reins in a very positive way and make it happen um, in a position of high authority as positive, not abuse kind of power kind of way, whoever you are. I mean, I'm trying to explain it the best way I know how, but that to me is the best way to explain it. Um, you're about to take, you are a position of leadership. You're about to exert your leadership in a non-abuse kind of power kind of way. I heard it's going to, winning, I heard winning. So I think you're about to win something um, in this. Something is about to be winning in this. Now, whether it's just positive winning inside yourself or someone feels they're winning in this or you actually win something um, in this. Um, I heard winning. So however that plugs in, in one's life, uh, maybe you produce winning numbers. If you're in marketing and sales, uh, maybe you uh, are about to win a winning case if you are a lawyer or something of that nature. Maybe you um, maybe you drive in winning numbers if you work in the restaurant business and you're a manager. Maybe you, um, I'm trying to give examples. Maybe you drive in business in, um, in a, a situation, if you're like a manager, boss, supervisor, that other people wasn't able to drive the business into. To me, I feel those are good examples, but you plug it in how it resonates. Leadership in a positive, copacetic, non-abuse of power kind of way. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A Leo is about to become very significant in one particular Aquarius' life soon. And a Libra. And a Capricorn for some. Okay, I heard a Leo, a Libra, and a Capricorn is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. Now, whoever this Leo, Libra, or Capricorn is, they could have Leo, Libra, or Capricorn in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, Midham, or Jupiter charts, Masculine or Femme, Leo, Libra, Caps. They could have Leo, Libra, Caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, Midham, or Jupiter charts. I feel the Leo, Libra, Caps could be a positive aspect in your life or a negative. I didn't hear if they were positive or ne uh, negative aspects in your life. Of course, you only, you know your story, not anybody else, but hopefully they're positive and not negative. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. A particular Aquarius is about to get a very, 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 very angry communication from a very angry feminine, older feminine Libra soon. This Aquarius probably will not answer. Move, moved on. Some, you paid for sex services from them in the past. Some, they helped you on, with dark side spiritual things in the past. Some, they are a family member. Okay, so, oh Lord, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So some kind of low vibrational older Libra energy. So we have Leo, Libra, and Caps energy. I feel on the po hopefully positive side over here. But I but this person is like a completely different wavelength is what I'm trying to say. So I shouldn't even, I don't feel like I should group this person in over here. Leo, Libra, and Caps energy. I feel it's a different Libra over here. Um, they can have Leo, Libra, and Caps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhammer, Jupiter charts. These people are about to become one or two plus. They're about to become very significant in your life, Caps. I'm not Caps, I'm sorry, Aquarius. Um, I'm not feeling low vibrational energy here. I'm, I'm not. I mean, maybe for some they could be, but I'm not feeling they are. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But according to the spiritual downloads, this person definitely is. 
I mean, just definitely is. So, um, I heard very angry, older Libran feminine energy. For some of these Libran older feminine energies, you have bought sex services from them before. So, you know, you paid for their sex, basically. Um, however that resonates. I just don't know how to say that. Um, for some, they have helped you with some kind of dark arts, um, spiritual information in the past. Now, whether they helped you conjure up dark arts or they were a part of your coven or y'all were part of coven together, I'm not sure. But somehow, you know their dark arts, their dark arts. It sounds like they still currently are, but it sounds like you've gotten out of it. This resonates for you. It sounds like you've gotten out of it. I heard you moved on. You've moved on. It sounds like you've gotten out of that life. It sounds like they're still in it. Um, and then one is a family member. So one of you guys, this person is a family member to you. One, they are, they, you paid for sex services from them in the past. And for one, they helped you with some kind of dark art, spiritualist, something, something in the past. Um, but I heard you moved on. So however you apply, whether you're their family member, you paid for sex from them in the past, or you, um, got, got help with some kind of dark art, spiritualist, something some in the past you moved on so you moved on from the dark art spiritualist life you moved on from the um paying for sex services or you moved on from this family member um but i heard a very very angry communication from this person soon very angry um i heard you probably will not respond i feel very low vibrational energy whoever this person is it's a feminine older femme libra however this person applies in your life you, that could be you exerting leadership, and I don't care who you are in the plane, 3D plane. You can exert leadership to keep moving on from this person. You don't have to be in a position of high authority in the 3D world to exhibit, exhibit moving on from this person. You, This is, to my opinion, leadership and personal power of your own self to move away from the, I mean, you've already moved away from the toxicity, but it sounds like they're about to bring it back or try to. So it sounds like you've already moved on. It sounds like hopefully you're going to keep moving on. Exerting your leadership and personal power to move away from this. And that will create the change for the better. Is what I'm feeling here. So you plug it in how it resonates. If this resonates for you. A very fair judgment coming soon, unexpectedly. Okay, I heard a very fair judgment coming soon, unexpectedly. So you plug it in, how it resonates for keep getting them. We're 48 minutes. A very fair judgment coming soon, unexpectedly. So that could be a very fair judgment for you regarding person, people, place, family, situation, or somebody you're connected to. Uh, maybe you work a very fair judgment. So to me, that could be... Um, that could be settlement energy. That could be um, uh, like settlement energy. Maybe you work in the legal sector possibly for some. For some, maybe you, you're getting the call for the very fair judgment. Uh, maybe you are a client of a, a lawyer or lawyers. Um, but some kind of very fair judgment coming soon and unexpectedly, whether you're on the client base of this or you are on the legal um, business base of this, however this resonates, um, and that could be the change for the better too. I heard it was, it's going to come soon and unexpectedly. And it's a very fair judgment in some shape, form, or fashion, however that plugs into your life, Aquarius. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. I hope this helped and namaste. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, you guys, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos on your social media and word of mouth, I'd appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.